Chara Supply Chain. Highlighting and showcasing solutions for the most complex challenges. Facing the industry in 21st century by a team of subject matter experts and mentors. Broadcasting every week, all year round, we will present the most up-to-date series of podcasts and webinars. Hello and welcome to another episode of Bichara Supply Chain. This is Norhari, your host, and today we have Maxim Anatolyev. He is a global procurement director working for MCOR and based in Zurich. In this episode, we are going to talk about a global procurement strategy like how do companies implement the strategy at a global level, what are key challenges for implementing the global approach, and etc. So... Thank you very much for joining us, Maxim. Can you please brief a little bit about yourself, your professional background, and what do you do? Yeah, currently I'm working for a company, Amcor. It's uh, it's a packaging company uh, which is producing uh, several different types of packaging worldwide. I'm currently responsible for procurement of uh, board and uh, prepress which is the main raw materials of uh, our um, one of our business divisions, which is Amcor Specialty Gardens. Previously, I used to work for the company Henkel, a German uh, German producer of uh, FMCG, fast-moving consumer goods, and I used to work in the procurement purchasing department for uh, 11 years at Henkel on uh, different levels, starting with a local uh, plant level, then going into the regional, and then in a global responsibility of uh, procurement at Hinkin. So, Maxim, this is a very fundamental question. So, what does a global sourcing exactly mean? It's a very good question. So, I would say uh, some people can uh, define it differently. Some people would say it's uh, it's um, how you buy goods uh, in the global market and then uh, you do, you find where where is the best location to produce a certain commodity and then you transport it all over the world. This is, uh, this is what one may understand. But then, of course, this very much depends on a category you purchase because there are categories of goods which can be transported long way and there are categories which can't. So can you have a global sourcing uh, for corrugated? You can have a global sourcing strategy, but global sourcing for corrugated board, for example, would be quite challenging because you normally you don't transport corrugated board longer than 50 to 100 kilometers. And of course, you can benchmark the cost of a given commodity in different markets. And that's what some people call a, a, a kind of a Big Mac index. When you clearly define the specification of a commodity and then you see what is the best country to produce such a material. And then you need to analyze your risks and if um, it is positive, then of course you can define your sourcing strategy of a commodity from a particular country or region. And normally organizations are focused on lower cost items and uh, defining where it is best to produce these items. So um, in your opinion, uh, how, how do companies implement strategies at the global level? You may explain based on the experience like like what was uh, Amco doing in the global sourcing perspective? There could be different models. And uh, for example, uh, one model is that you have a global uh, procurement team which is responsible for, the, for a global sourcing strategy. Uh, it can be led by a SME, subject matter expert, in, in a particular category, which is then supported by regional uh, or um, uh, local representatives. And then this team, we can call it a, a team, uh, this team would define a strategy and the global governance, including tendering schedule, guidelines, tender processes and tools. And then implementation of a strategy defined by such a team, of course, would be a joint effort of a global team, which is defining the, the strategy uh, in conjunction with the regional and local uh, support. And I, I'm, I'm quite convinced it is not possible to introduce your uh, global strategy without regional or uh, local buy-in and support. Very interesting. So uh, what are the most challenging aspects of today's global sourcing environment 
you you probably made aware, right, about the trade war between U.S. and China. How do you see that? Well, this uh, trade war can affect the businesses, of course, and uh, no, normally nobody wants uh, trade wars and the sanctions because uh, it prevents the business to operate uh, in a normal <laughs> environment. Yeah. And uh, when it comes to implementation, the challenges of uh, the global sourcing environment, then and there are, of course, there are risks, and there are risks associated uh, with buying from different countries and continents, like uh, different time zones, so simple as that, and different cultures. So when you buy from a completely different region, you need to understand the culture uh, of, of the country you're buying from. And then, of course, you have an exposure to financial and political risks in those countries. So, for example, many, many companies bet on production, on, on production in low-cost uh, locations like China, Vietnam, yeah. Malaysia, etc. But then are those countries necessarily the most stable countries in the world? Uh, in terms of uh, economy, in terms of currency, in terms of political risks. So all that you need to consider when you want to introduce and implement your global sourcing strategy. And then, of course, it comes together with the risk of uh, loss of your intellectual property. How do you protect that? And again, it, it becomes quite risky when you talk about countries uh, in the Far East, like, uh, um, and then, of course, you need to protect uh, yourself as a purchaser and a buyer, by having good uh, or even best-in-class contract place. Mm. Last question today, that's uh, the implementing a global strategy can be very difficult. So what's the best process to adopt when trying to implement global strategy in local market? You need to know the market, the local market. You need to know the supplier. So you need to be there with people. Normally, you can't do business over the phone. You need to be present there. And then you, you also need a, a strong local team. You need a strong local representatives, which will first support you in, in the starting process when you identify and qualify your suppliers. And then they, they would need to support you during the qualification and then ongoing management process of your suppliers. So you need the local team, the buy-in from your internal stakeholders, ideally in the country or in the region, to support you to introduce this sourcing strategy. Mm. So that's my view. Yeah, very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time, Maxim. You're welcome, already. I look forward to speaking with you at another time. See you when. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. At Bichara Supply Chain, we are committed to driving global perspective to embrace technological adaptation in improving process efficiencies. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share Bichara Supply Chain. And stay tuned for the latest updates. To learn more, visit our website www.bicharasupplychain.com. Thank you for listening to us. We look forward to seeing you at our next episode.